addicted to TikTok. I actually have to have like one of these baby timers like to tell me that I can't go on it anymore. I just see so many TikTokers and like influencers and everything. They're just buying all these things, hauls, what you name it, everywhere. Honestly, like so obsessed with it and I'm okay with that. Oh my God, I'm referencing TikToks. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh my god, my attention span is actually diminished. My question is, is like, where are these people going? And like, why do they need to buy all these nice clothes to be going nowhere? I don't wear makeup. I don't change. This is the only time I've ever changed, I swear to god. And is that a depressive episode? But you know, 2021 is here. I cleaned out my room. Things are a little different, as you can see. We are here to thrive in 2021. Knock on wood. I don't think that was real wood. Recently, I've been seeing this sweater and I am obsessed with this sweater. It is the cloud sweater that was made by Lyrica Matoshi. She is a goddess. Her sweaters are hand knit, but they are so beautiful. I love them. They're so trendy, something I can't afford because um, they're like $270 US, which is around like $300 Canadian. I can't really afford me putting all that money out there for just like a sweater I'm gonna wear maybe like twice. So I thought to myself, I can knit, can I? I can knit and I have been looking for this really crazy project to be doing and I think this is it. I think I'm gonna try to recreate it. I've been seeing like a lot of YouTube videos. I've been analyzing, looking through, you know, doing what I can to figure out like how people are doing it. I. I don't care what you say, but I am trying to recreate it, like to the T almost. And we're gonna see if I can do that. Just to give you guys a little background, a little background in my knitting journey. I have been obsessed with knitting, crocheting, all that jazz since forever. I first got into knitting in elementary school because I'm a little crazy little hobby girl. And I also don't think I had a lot of friends, so it was like, I needed something to do with my spare time and me and my friends like this woman i don't know to the life of me how she came into our lives and what job she had at my elementary school but she like gathered a bunch of us girls and we started this knitting club which i miss to this day it was so fun to knit in a group i don't know maybe i just haven't been interacting with a lot of people so i just need some interaction we would meet like every thursday during lunch yes i like took time out of my day to like knit and she like lend us all these like materials and stuff and we were knitting and it was so cute everything just like went up from there started out with that started with scarves and then i went to hats and then eventually um i had to stop because i went back to school and there's no time to do any hobbies or anything i loved and you know just sucking the soul out of me just dying because of quarantine i've been able to pick up this hobby again and it's absolutely amazing i so enjoy it i had no idea that there was so much you could do with it like i've been knitting like crop tops cardigans sweaters like little just bags anything you can name of yes i am a grandmother i am a mother oh my god i'm actually insane just a disclaimer letting y'all know I am not putting this pattern out for use. I'm not going to try to recreate this and sell this to anybody. This is just for my personal use only, as well as putting this out on YouTube. I have no intention of stealing her product in any way. If you want something that she's made, like go get it, buy it. I am going to link her in the description, absolutely. This is just for me seeing if I can kind of recreate something as beautiful as something that she has created. Yeah, so that's just me letting you guys know. I'm just doing this for fun. You guys get to see my process and see how it turns out and I'm really excited for that. If you guys have any knitwear or kind of like other like brand name items that you'd like to see me knit, I think that would be such a cool idea for videos. So just let me know in the comments below and let's get on with it. So the plan is, is to knit from the bottom to the top for both the front and the back and then I'm going to sew the two pieces together in the shoulders and the sides leaving enough space for the sleeves. Then I'm going to pick up stitches at the top to create a collar and the sleeves are knitted separately and sewn in. Okay, so the yarn I used was 100% acrylic that I found at my local Walmart and they only cost me 4 bucks each so this whole thing only cost me $12 which is insane. that is bleach. Look at me try so hard to knit without looking because I wanted to watch Ichigo kill some hollows. 
Yeah, so this is me just starting the stockinette stitch, which is just you knit the same thing over and over again. Yes, this is me sped up real quick. I just wanted to show you guys how I incorporated the blue. So now I'm starting that kind of flame kind of detail that is shown on the sweater. Yeah, so for this actual pattern, I looked at the sweater online, tried to count each stitch to see what the pattern was, and yes, I counted every stitch, and this is what I came up with. So this is me making the cloud now. I am showing you, I guess, how I'm changing the different colors, and yes, that is my notebook where I wrote everything, but it turns out that I was completely off and the clouds were too small for the sweater, so you'll see later on I wanted to cry. So for the actual clouds, I incorporated them at both sides, and so you can see me struggling at trying to keep everything untangled because it was honestly impossible. Yeah, this was my worst nightmare. I had to untangle so much yarn. This is the face of someone who's gone crazy from knitting for hours. But the front is complete. It is looking snatched. I actually am really happy with how the clouds turned out. Yeah, so I went ahead and knitted the back because I was not going to film myself crying. I'm sewing the two pieces together with a fabric needle using a mattress stitch and it's super seamless. I recommend. This is the first time I'm knitting a sweater without a pattern and I'm super surprised it fit me. But honestly, looking at it now, I i can't believe how nice it looks. Picking up stitches is honestly super boring, so I went ahead and did that and you'll just see me do a rib real fast. <laughs> like my life depended on it. Wait. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. I have to do the sleeves and the sleeves actually take so long to complete. The whole sweater probably took me like a week and a half, but you will just see I'm just ready to be done. I couldn't even get myself to film it.
I was so happy to be done one sleeve but I just started to sew it together <laughs> because it would feel like I was actually getting closer to being done. I was honestly super surprised with how this came out. I think the sweater actually looks so much like the real one. I need to start dressing better so I can actually go out and wear this. Thanks for staying to the end of the video. I had so much fun making this. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see next.